Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on discussing some of the basic and important most frequently asked interview questions on PHP and in today's video I will be discussing on session and cookies. I will be discussing difference between sessions and cookies. Okay, sessions and cookies are used for storing the visitors data on our web application. Okay, suppose I have developed a website where different users register themselves and they provide their information okay once they provide or once they register to my web application my php application and they have then they have to log into my application okay once they logged in then at that time i will take some of their information and then i will store that information into sessions or cookies okay suppose I have taken some of the information from those users at the time of login and I have stored those information into sessions so then what I can do is uh, whenever how much ever pages they will be visiting after login in my application in each and every page I will be validating that the person who, will, who is going to access that particular page is the authenticated person or not okay that I will validate I will check based on the data that I have stored inside the session okay so uh, with the help of sessions I can validate and I can check the whether each and every pages which is browsed after logged in by any user uh, is authenticated user or not okay so that is the use of session of sessions and cookies that is the use of storing the data into sessions and cookies i can keep track the users who is visiting each and every page of my web application after logged in okay so now uh, i have listed down some of the differences between sessions and cookies okay so now i hope you have understood what is sessions and what is cookies and why you we use sessions and cookies okay so now let's uh, uh, before coming to the differences between sessions and cookies let's go to our application okay so i have developed one application here blog application 27 okay and then blog okay so now let me give you a real example with the help of which you will be easily able to understand what session and cookies are, are all about okay so uh, this is my blog application okay and i have made a different tutorial video tutorial series on this web application of blog application okay where i have explained in detail how to develop a blog application using php and mysql okay and i have already uploaded those videos on my channel on my youtube channel okay so now let's log in okay now i have entered my username or email and password okay so now the moment when i click on login okay so here okay this user is already registered okay so now after registered i'm logged in and at this time what i have done is i have taken some of the information of this user and i have stored that information into session okay so let's let me show you that okay so this is the login.php uh, file okay so here with this file i'm allowing the user to log into my blog application okay here once the user is logged in i'm taking the id of that user their username their email and then i'm assigning or storing this id use email and username into the session okay so why i'm doing that because here once i logged in I might be going to different pages I might be visiting to different pages in this application suppose after logged in I will go to add profile okay so here I need to check whether the person who is trying to access to this profile.php file is the authenticated person or not okay so I will go here and here I have a file called as profile.php okay here also you can see I'm validating I'm checking using session is using session this is the username i am taking okay the username id and email i had stored inside this session okay with the help of this details i am validating here if the person who is trying to access this profile.php file is authenticated person or not how am i able to know that because at the time of log in i will be storing that information into the session and uh, once 
the user tries to access some other pages after login at that time I will take that users information from the session and then I will validate whether the the, the person who is trying to access this users.php or profile.php files is an authenticated person or not okay so i hope you now you understood uh, the reason of having sessions and cookies okay and the cookies are uh, also similar to sessions okay but the difference is we store the sessions information into our server into our database server but we store cookies information in the form of a text file in in our browser window okay so now let's come to our presentation okay so now let us discuss some of the differences between sessions and cookies okay so the first difference is session data will be stored on the server as i have said session information or this information here you can see this id username and email this information i am storing inside the session and this information will be stored in the server okay but cookies information will be stored in the browser in the client side again okay, the second difference is session data will be available as long as browser is open okay now you can see now the browser is open okay and if i close this browser or, or if i logged out okay if i log out okay now suppose this is at profile profile.php okay now i will logged out and after logged out if i tries to access profile.php file it will not allow me to go to that profile.php file because session is closed okay because with the session what we had set once the user gets logged in once he click on log out at that time session will get terminated okay or if i logged in and suddenly i close the browser at that time also session will get terminated okay but here in cookies it's not like that okay cookies data is available in your browser up to expiration date okay so we we have to set the expiration for our cookie okay until that cookie reach that expiration date or time the cookie will be stored inside the browser okay and the third point is we can limit the size of session data stored in the server okay so we can uh, restrict the number of data or the amount of data that will be stored inside the session and the same thing applies to cookies as well in cookies also we can limit the size of data that we can store inside the computer as a cookie and the fourth point is sessions can store objects okay but cookies can store only string values okay next point sessions cannot be disabled by the vis visitors since sessions are stored inside the server so users will not have the access to make any changes or to enable or disable the session data because these sessions variables are out of reach of the visitors these sessions will always be stored inside the database that's why users will not have the access to disable them but since cookies will store inside the browser window so users will have the access to disable them whenever they want okay say so next point last point is sessions cannot be edited by the visitors okay same explanation okay the sessions stored inside the server and normal people or the users will not have the access to make changes in the make changes the data which is stored inside the server that's why sessions cannot be edited by the visitors whereas cookies will be stored inside the computer so users will have the access to make changes to the cookies okay so these are some of the differences between sessions and cookies sessions and cookies both are used for storing the data or visitors data of our web application okay next how to store sessions and cookies okay so here i have written the syntax and example okay so if we want to store the data in session we need to start session okay we need to use this statement in each and every file of our application here you can see here i have used session start in login.php as well and here at the top for profile.php as well i have used session start and for users as well i have used session start okay so we need to use we need to first start the session okay and 
then we need to set the value okay here i am setting id user id as one to session okay and then we can unset the session as well the moment when i logged out at that time i have to use this method unset and then i have to unset the id which is which i have stored inside the session and then once i do that session will get terminated okay now syntax an example of cookies okay this is how we can set the cookie this is the syntax name we need to give the name and then we need to give the value and then we need to give the expire expiry date okay so if this is the example set cookie and user will be the name and the value is my name mahmood and the time i'm giving to this cookie as one hour okay once the time of one hour gets collapsed the cookie will get terminated okay so let us look a practical implementation of this cookie okay so here you can see I have a file cookies.php here I have set a cookie with a name user and value I have kept in that cookie is Mahmood and I have set the time for one hour okay and here I am displaying that uh, the value which is stored inside the cookie user so now let's come here and 27 okay php faq slash cookie dot php okay now let's come here cookies dot php okay now you can see it's returning me the value which is stored inside the user user cookie okay and it's displaying here the value okay and the time uh, for this cookie uh, to hold this value of memo is one hour okay i have set the expiration as one hour okay so now this is everything about uh, sessions and cookies okay i hope you understand i hope you get some valuable information regarding sessions and cookies what is sessions and what is cookies why we use sessions and cookies and some of the differences between them and then we discuss the syntaxes and examples of sessions and cookies okay so uh, i hope you like this video i hope you get some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i'll see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing on some other uh, frequently asked interview questions on php till then goodbye guys i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching